Uh, Greg Periotti, he is the reporter. He interviews everyone in the town. Um, he's looking for answers, and I really connect with that uh, from my past, personally. He needs some answers so he can get some emotional problems inside of him. I always try to like lose myself on stage and completely get in character to the point where I don't even know my name anymore. So I completely let go of everything and just completely like lose it. So it's a good experience, I love it. At about 11.30 that night, I had really gone to bed. And my role is Rulon Stacy, and he's, uh, he's the CEO of the hospital that found of the hospital that Matthew Shepard was admitted in. And so he has like, direct access to the, the protagonist of the play. And so we get a lot of information from him, like the medical updates. And that's pretty much who I am. I am also the investigator of Rob Debris, name, who investigates Aaron McKinley, the guy who was accused of killing um, Matthew Shepard. Right and I felt like the, the character fit me as a person well. And that's pretty much why I picked him. And um, I picked Rob Debris because Rob Debris would be like a, a dynamic to, you know, Rulon Stacy. Rulon Stacy being the CEO, you know, being formal and stuff. Rob Debris has a wild, you know, array of like personalities that he can convey. So I, I, I picked them too because they were the two most dynamic characters for me. And they fit me as well. Whenever I think about Matthew, I always think of this incredible beaming smile. I play Romaine Patterson. She was a friend of Matthew's, and um, I really like this character just because it's a lot more personal than a lot of the other characters, just because she actually did know Matthew. Um, it's really great to see her transform throughout it, or talk about her transformation, because at the beginning, you know, one of my last lines is actually that a year ago she wanted to be a rock star, and now she's going to go to school and have a career in political activism. And it's just great to actually talk about how much she's changed throughout how some kind of growth comes out of this tragedy. I play two characters. I play the judge and I play uh, Stephen Mead, who is the Unitarian minister. The judge is very serious. I connect with her a lot. And Stephen Mead is the Unitarian minister. and. Um, I identify with her. And I remember seeing this woman, this Unitarian minister come over, and I just remember thinking, this is going to be a really bad scene. But instead she came over and she started leading them in Amazing Grace. sing Amazing Grace, which is, um, it's very powerful. It's a very powerful moment in the play. It just creates this really beautiful picture, and I'm, I'm really glad I got the opportunity to do this, and I'm really glad I got the opportunity to do this play. It's a, re it's a really powerful play, and I'm really happy I was able to be in it. My second character is Matt Galloway. He's the bartender that um, Matthew Shepard was at the night that he was killed, and he kind of provides um, information about like where Matt was before, and also like his interaction with um, Russell Henderson and um, Aaron McKinney right before they um, got into the car together and they beat him. It was it was easy for me to do the character just because that was like it's so much like myself, so that's why I picked it. I play two characters, Marge Murray and a newspaper reporter. And I can kind of see Marge Murray and my grandmother. She's amazing. And I and she's just the kind of person I really like to be. But I also play a news reporter who is serious. And so I say, hey, I'm kind of nosy at some point. So I say, I can also do this as well. But I can also be very serious at times. So I can all relate to all my characters, as to say, anyone can, because we've all like had that kind of experience in, t in our lives, so that's why I love acting, is to take on a new form, 
and like see myself in this form as well. It's just very enjoyable. I play Matt Mickelson. He is the owner of the bar that Matthew Shepard was last seen in. I play Harry Woods, who is a homosexual bystander who witnesses some pretty incredible things. Reverend Fred Phelps of the Westboro Baptist Church, which was a lot of fun in a weird way. And then the dad, Dennis Shepard. On October 12th, 1998, my firstborn son and hero lost. My firstborn son and hero died 50 days before his 22nd birthday. It, it was hard to kind of, it was, it took a lot of work to differentiate the roles that I played because uh, they're all so different and all of them have different views on what has happened and it really took a lot of time and thought and energy to figure out what each character wants and how they how they all feel about the situation. I play Katherine Connolly, who is the university president in the Laramie Project, and she is the president of the University of Wyoming. And I love playing this character so much because she gets to observe firsthand the impact the crime has had on these students at uh, the university. And I really think it's important that the audience understands how many people it's affected and uh, the true heinous nature of the crime. Also, another thing that I was really happy about um, was how many responses I got about this play. Um, Friday uh, evening after the play, I got a ton of parents, students, and teachers come up to me and talk about the importance of the message of this play. And I thought the Laramie Project really, really affected a lot of people. It really opened some eyes. And I think it's important that high school students do see this play because of its message. And in high school, you know, bullying is always a problem. And you hear these stories about James Bird. I mean, I was uh, at Lanier Middle School and I saw the uh, HBO series version of The Laramie Project and it was shown to a leadership group at our school and it's really fun to be doing the play now, The Laramie Project, because I now get to apply what I learned and project to other people the true message of the story and the real importance of it. I am the killer in the play and who I'm playing is Aaron James McKinney. He killed the gay guy just because he was gay. He didn't do nothing to him. And it's, it's a really great part. I enjoy doing it and it's fun. That's it. So I play Zachy Salmon and she's a professor at the University of Wyoming. And she was really close with Matthew. Um, she saw a lot of the potential that she had. She's also gay, so she feels very strongly about the fact that he was killed because he's gay. I love her character because I've always, because my personality is so giddy and happy, I've always played the really dainty characters. But I'm finally getting to play a character that has some heart and some soul and some depth to her. And so it's, it's been a really great experience. She's a really cool character. I connect very strongly with her. I'm the girlfriend of the killer. Um, she's supporting her boyfriend who killed um, Matthew Shepard. And she definitely is one of the bad characters. Um, I don't know. I Sometimes I like playing the bad guy. It's definitely a sad story what happened um, to Matthew Shepard. And I think this play definitely helps get the message across about bullying and discrimination. Uh, my character's name is Jedediah Schultz, and he's a university student at the University of Wyoming. And while not personal with the protagonist, Matthew Shepard, he can relate to him in some ways because his parents don't condone the fact that he had to play a gay role in order to get into college. And he can relate to the abuse that Matthew Shepard um, my character's name is Doc O'Connor and he's a limousine driver who drove Matthew Shepard around like right before he was 
beat, beaten, and killed. And he's just a really laid back guy, you know. And and he really doesn't care about you know being gay or not. He's just like whatever, you know, because he's a limousine, limousine driver. He's just trying to you know make money. So he's just you know laid back, just a chill guy. I am the one who escorts the killer, Aaron McKenney. I originally wanted to be Subeda, and I guess Mr. Munson thought that I was going to be a good officer, Reggie Flutie. I play one of the jury members. I think it's a really interesting part because I wanted to experience what it felt like to sign the fate of both defendants. It's a good role to have. I want him to have opinion. I want him to cry. So that's why I picked the part. Well, the lighting setup, um, once you get used to it, very easy. It's uh, We use a one-to-one -one basis. Uh, channel one is light one. Very easy using that. Um, for, we have different areas on the stage. Um, two lights at a 45 degree angle um, to one area uh, gives the uh, actor two dimension. Um, we change a lot of colors constantly because it will give a different background to what's going on. Like at one point, it's like, okay, they're outside in Laramie, Wyoming, uh, doing interviews. And then if something tragic happens, it can turn to red and give it that dark uh, tragedy uh, feeling to it. Um, orange gives it that kind of uh, something's about to happen um, look to it. And then a dark blue is like a midnight bar scene. Uh, but it just gives you the emotion of what's about to happen.